Our complete coverage continues now. Alex Dimitrik is live with a very different sort of remembrance of Fidel Castro. Alex? Well, Jessica, it's a story of a love affair with a dash of espionage. On this quiet Baltimore street of historic homes, a family's history is revealed. He was her first love. According to Valerie Lorenz, he was Fidel Castro, and in 1959, just after the Cuban Revolution, Castro boarded a cruise ship captained by her father. Also on board was her 19-year-old sister, Marita Lorenz, who told Castro... Well, you can't come up here with your guns. So they took off her guns, and she looked at him and said, you too. <laughs> Challenging. Marita was always challenging. Valerie Lorenz says that challenge quickly developed into a love affair that stretched over two years. Very kind, very gentle man. We see him as this vicious, flamboyant dictator, and all he wanted was the best of his country. But with Soviet support, communism became the new direction, and Marita's relationship allegedly led to her recruitment by the CIA into an assassination plot. With a poison pill in a jar of cream, <laughs> to, in true CIA fashion, the pill melted. She was obviously in his apartment, and he said, you will never kill me. And she said, you're right. I love you. I could never kill you. Valerie Lorenz says her sister learned of Castro's death on television in her New York home. Oh, she went hysterical. You know, grief stricken, totally grief stricken. He was her first love. Marita Lorenz is 77 years old. WJZ made numerous attempts to contact her by phone today, but we were not successful. Jessica, back to you. Wow, interesting story. Alex, thank you. Marita Lorenz first revealed her relationship with Fidel Castro in a New York newspaper interview back in 1992 and has since detailed it all in a book.